Hi Mr. Newmobile here. Apple iPad Air 2020 release date news. Please subscribe followed by the bell. You can also keep up on Facebook, Twitter by clicking the links in the description. Apple in March 2019 resurrected its long dead iPad Air line with the introduction of a brand new $499 10.5-inch iPad Air that serves as a middle-tier iPad option between the lower end $329 9.7-inch iPad and the higher end $799 11-inch and 12.9-inch iPad Pro models. The tagline for the new iPad Air is power isn't just for the pros, which is fitting because while the iPad Air shares some features with the iPad Pro models, it doesn't have all of the pro-oriented bells and whistles in order to keep costs lower. Apple's iPad Air features the same thin and light enclosure that was used for the now discontinued 10.5-inch iPad Pro, which it replaces. At just 6.1mm thick and with a weight of a pound, it's portable and lightweight. It is available in gold, silver, and space gray with either 64 or 256 GB of storage. A camera, instead continuing to use a tapered body design with thick bezels at the top and bottom to support the Touch ID home button that it continues to offer. Like older iPad models, it still has a headphone jack, a feature eliminated in the iPad Pro. The iPad Air includes the same laminated display technology that was in the 10.5-inch iPad Pro, offering a 2224x1668 Retina display with TrueTone for adjusting the white balance of the display to match the lighting in the room and wide color for vivid true-to-life colors. Support for the first-generation Apple Pencil is included, and there's a smart connector on the side of the iPad Air that works with Apple's smart keyboard. At the bottom of the iPad Air, there's a lightning port for charging purposes, as only the iPad Pro models have adopted USB-C inside the iPad Air. There's an A12 Bionic chip with Neural Engine and M12 coprocessor, the same hardware used in the most recent iPhone models. It offers the same all-day battery life as other iPads, lasting up to 9 to 10 hours depending on task. Rear camera technology is one area where Apple aimed to keep costs of the new iPad Air lower, iPad Pro. It's the same camera that's used in the lower-cost iPad and the iPad Mini 5, and it maxes out at 1080p video recording. At the front, there's a 7-megapixel FaceTime HD camera which is the same camera that was in the previous generation iPad Pro. It supports Retina Flash, live photos, and 1080p video recording, but lacks Smart HDR and features that come with the TrueDepth camera, such as Portrait Mode and Memoji. There are two speakers instead of four like in the iPad Pro, and it uses Bluetooth 5.0 technology, with the 802.11 AC Gigabit Class LTE on cellular models, SM technology, and dual microphones. Pricing on the new iPad Air starts at $499 for the 64GB with the only model, with the 256GB model priced at $649. Cellular models are available for $130 more over the base price for each configuration. The smart keyboard for the iPad Air is priced at $159, while the first-generation Apple Pencil costs $99. Apple and Mars suddenly and permanently go blank. Affected devices were manufactured between March and October 2019. Anyone who has an iPad Air experiencing this issue can have it repaired by Apple or an Apple-authorized service provider free of charge. Apple used to have an iPad Air 2 back in 2014, but it was discontinued in favor of the iPad and iPad Pro lines. In 2019, Apple brought back the iPad Air with the aim of introducing a mid-tier tablet to take the place of the 2017 10.5-inch iPad Pro, which was still for sale up until when the iPad Air was released. The iPad Air replaces the older iPad Pro, so Apple has recycled the 10.5-inch iPad Pro's body and reused it for the iPad Air. The iPad Air is identical in size and thickness to the 10.5-inch iPad Pro and just a bit lighter weight. It features the same slim tapered size. The iPad Air 2020 looks to bring even more pro-level features to a lower-priced iPad that might be more affordable than before, and its screen might get even bigger. Now that we've seen the iPad Pro 2020 roll out, the Apple tablet rumor mill has started to show signs of how the rest of the iPad family will grow in 2020. Rumors and leaks so far point to the iPad Air 2020, or iPad Air 4, having a lot in common with the more modern iPad Pros, much like how the iPad Air 3 was based on the 10.5-inch iPad Pro. The best tablets you can buy right now iPad Pro vs iPad. Which tablet is right for you? Plus. MacBook Pro 16-inch vs Dell XPS 15. Which laptop wins? These updates appear to push the iPad Air as Apple's mid-range tablet pricier and more fully featured than the regular iPad, but without all of the bells and whistles of the iPad Pro. iPad Air 2020 release date and price According to Mac analyst Ming Kai Kuo, reported by supply chain blog Makadakara, the new iPad Air is coming in the second half of 2020. 
that's a relatively wide window, and given Apple's most recent hardware will expect it to possibly arrive outside of WWDC 2020 and any Apple events. The latest iPad Pro, for example, was simply announced via press release. The iPad Air 2020 starting price was expected to likely be close to $499, as all previous iPad Air models have started at that cost, but new rumors are giving many a more positive outlook. Nobody's saying how much more affordable, but supply chain sources told DigiTimes that sales prospects for the new 10.8-inch iPad devices are also bright, as the new lineup, which feature high-performance CPUs, will be available at more affordable prices. On June 29, Kuo noted that a 10.8-inch iPad is on the way, and that very well may be the iPad Air 2020. The current iPad Air has a 10.5-inch display, and that doesn't feel quite as significantly different anymore when the regular iPad measures 10.2 inches. iPad Air 2020 specs The iPad Air 2020 might get a lot of hand-me-downs from the 11-inch iPad Pro from 2018. Mikado Kara's aforementioned report references a Chinese supplier who says the iPad Air 4 will feature a USB-C port instead of Lightning. Well, the iPad Air 2020 could also get Face ID if it's heavily based on the 11-inch iPad Pro, the perks wouldn't stop there. If it has a similar shape and build, the iPad Air would also support the iPad Pro Magic Keyboard, so you wouldn't be limited to the smart keyboard. Second-gen Apple Pencil support would also likely follow. That's not guaranteed, though, as the outlet does note that the new Air will have a 10.8-inch screen, which might make for larger bezels or a slightly different shape. As for storage, expect a starting capacity of 64 GB. That's both the current iPad Air entry-level capacity and was the storage you got with the 2018 iPad Pro. For a processor, the A13 Bionic makes sense for the iPad Air 2020 if you consider Apple's history of recycling CPUs. The iPad Air 3 features the A12 Bionic, which was used in the iPhone XS and XR phones, the most recent iPhones at that time, and the current iPhone 11 line uses A13 chips. By comparison, the regular iPad runs on the older A10 Fusion Pro. iPad Air 2020 design the iPad Air 4 may not look exactly like the 11-inch iPad Pro. Leaker at L0 Vita Dream posits that the tablet will use the rumored mini-LED display technology that hasn't hit any iPad yet for a full-screen design, with no notch or no face ID camera. Ad L0 Vita Dream also gives hope for a much-wanted return of Touch ID. In the same tweet where they leaked the lack of face ID, they said the tablet will have Touch ID under the screen. Hopefully that technology won't just be limited to the iPad Air, but make it to the iPhone 12 or iPhone 13, since Face ID doesn't work when you're wearing a face mask. Rather, Touch ID will be facilitated by an under-display fingerprint scanner, meaning the next iPad Air could look a little like the iPad Pro 2020, only without a camera and the side bezels for Face ID. This is the same type of fingerprint reader that's occasionally been rumored to hit the iPhone 12. L0 Vita Dream is also speculating that the Magic Keyboard may find another iPad to pair with, outside of the iPad Pro. The iPad Air would make the most sense for this, as it's the highest-end non-Pro iPad. D20 Outlook All of the iPad Air 2020 leaks point to a fairly important update to the tablet. If all of these rumors hold up, the iPad Air 4 will primarily appeal to those who have found the regular iPad a little sluggish or wish they could charge their tablet with the same USB-C cable they use for their iPad. The USB-C cable will also appeal to those looking to switch from Lightning to the more standard cable that's used for charging MacBooks. An older design with Touch ID and thicker bezels differentiates the new iPad Air line from the 2018 iPad Pro models, as those have edge-to-edge -edge displays with slimmer bezels and no home button. Rather than adopting USB-C like the iPad Pro, the iPad Air features a Lightning port at the bottom for charging purposes. At the top, there's a 3.5mm headphone jack, a feature no longer present on modern iPad Pro models. Dual speakers are available at the bottom of the tablet, and at the back, there's a single-lens rear camera with no flash. A standard sleep-wake button is located at the top of the tablet, and there's a volume up-down button on the side. Available in silver, space gray, and gold, the iPad Air measures in at 250.6 mm, 9.8 inches tall, 174.1 mm, 6.8 inches wide, and just 6.1 mm, 0.24 inches wide. It's thin, light, and has a larger display than the lower-cost iPad, though it's not quite as large as the 11 and 12.9-inch iPad Pro models. It weighs just a pound, making it a bit lighter than the 10-point Air, much like the 9.7-inch iPad, features a Touch ID home button for biometric authentication purposes. People who prefer Touch ID over Face ID may want to consider the 10.5-inch iPad Air over the recent iPad Pro models for this reason. Touch ID is used to unlock the iPad, access apps, and make purchases with Apple Pay. 
Smart connector on the left side of the iPad Air, there's a smart connector that's designed to work with the new smart keyboard that Apple has released for the iPad Air. The iPad Air features the same multi-touch fully laminated display as the 10.5-inch iPad Pro, with a 2224x1668 resolution at 264 pixels per inch, though it does not feature ProMotion technology, a feature limited to the Pro line. The iPad Air does offer 500 nits brightness and 1.8% reflectivity, thanks to an anti-reflective coating. To protect it from fingerprints, there's the same fingerprint-resistant oleophobic coating that's on all iPads. A laminated display, used in all iPads with the exception of the 9.7-inch model, combines the coverglass, touch sensor, and eyes for a more immersive experience. P3 wide color gamut support is included for rich, vivid colors that are true to life and accurate, which is ideal for artists, and there's True Tone support. True Tone adjusts the white balance of the display to match the ambient lighting to make the screen easier on the eyes. If you're in a room with yellower lighting, for example, the iPad's display is warmer in color, so there's not a stark contrast between the color of the iPad and the lighting in the room. Or the iPad Air, Apple used the same A12 Bionic chip that's also included in the 2018 iPhone lineup. It's clocked to 2.4 GHz, the same as the iPhone's A12 chip, and the performance is quite similar to the performance of the iPhone XR, XS, and XS Max. The iPad Air features an 8-megapixel rear-facing camera with an f2.4 aperture, which is the same camera that's available in the 9.7-inch iPad. It supports live photos, auto HDR, 43-megapixel panoramas, burst mode, and timer mode, but it is not as advanced as the upgraded 12-megapixel camera in the iPad Pro, making rear camera one of the major differentiating fact what Apple calls all-day battery, which means it lasts for up to 10 hours depending on task. That's the same battery life available across the iPad lineup. As mentioned above, the iPad Air charges through a lightning port at the bottom of the tablet that works with a lighting to USB cable and included 12W USB power adapter. The Pados 13.4 brings trackpad and mouse support to all iPad Pro models, the iPad Air 2 and later, the 5th generation iPad and later, and the iPad Mini 4 and later. According to Apple, trackpad support has been completely reimagined for the iPad and its touch-first interface, though it should still be familiar to Mac users. The cursor displays as a circle that highlights various user interface elements, text fields, and apps on the home screen or dock, making it clear what can be clicked on. Well having be said, please subscribe, like,